Good morning, Providence Oaks. We're starting the day as we always do with a PO positive or pet B, followed by the weather. It's already time for work again. Look, everybody's gone now. Thank God. Dale, what's it gonna be? It's a positive all the way, Jack. I went to Moe's Diner yesterday, and I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie that tasted so good. Mm, thank you much, Dale. That makes me want to get a piece right now. But the weather's first. We'll start off sunny with a few clouds later today. How about some music now? Here in circle. Eddie, leave, leave the car, <laughs> Meredith. Leave the car. Okay, so. Was this a package or mail? I don't. Up. Up. Let's go up. Oh, God. Okay, so 205 and 207 Heron Circle are letters. Okay. Where's 205 and 207? It's 201. 203, 205. So we've got this one. Oh, it looks like there's a postcard in there. And 207. Hmm. Same handwriting as the one I delivered next door. I'm guessing. Why are you nosy? <laughs> So we're done at the cold de sac. Feels weird going down this uh, road like this when all the cars are facing the opposite way. Main street. There's gonna be so many dings in this truck. Okay, this is package. I'm gonna have to pay him to use it. 351, this is the one. What on earth did these folks order? Betamax. Ooh, it's a movie and vinyl rental store or purchase store. <gasps> is that? Why does it look like Eddie Munson? The maze. Ah, oh, that reminds me. Labyrinth is on Netflix. I kind of wanna. The Friendly Dead. <laughs> Mad Man. <laughs> Ghost Blasters. Space Wars. The Kung Fu Kid. Oh my God. Classics. You got some good choices here. Welcome to the Flick Shack. How can I help you? Got a package for you, ma'am. Hold on. You're our new postal worker. Why? Talk about not looking the part. <laughs> is that a compliment? Trust me, it definitely is. Well, thank you then. Name's Meredith, by the way. Meredith Weiss. Angie. Eastman. So, what brings you to Providence Oaks? I used to live here, and then I didn't. Now I'm back. Grew up here, and now I'm back to do my dad a favor. Oh, grew up here, and now I'm back to do my dad a favor. Ah, I myself have been here for six years. And what brings you here? Didn't grow up here. Came to do myself <laughs> a favor. Touche, Mrs. Eastman. Miss. Oh, so she's single? Is that a hint? So, how's business? Or so is your dream to rent out videotapes? That seems a little mean or rude or something. I don't know. It feels like rude, so. So, how's business? It's, uh, it's booming. People in Providence Oaks sure like their movies. <laughs> I guess it's because there's not much else to do around here. Might as well watch a flick, right? There's quite a good uh, selection here. I'd still be renting from Blockbuster if it was still around. Mm, you certainly have a lot of them. Choice is everything. Nothing quite tickles the imagination like the right movie at the right time. Hmm. Maybe I should watch more movies. 
Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Eastman. Uh, call me Angie. And here, someone just returned this, and it should be right up your alley. The postman always rings twice? <laughs> <laughs> My kind of humor. Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. It's a hint. <laughs> she wants to get a, to know but us touché. more. Angie. She's hitting on us. And I accept. All right, I'll check it out if I have the time. Probably won't get to it right away. Uh. All right. I'll check it out if I have the time. Take your time. This isn't exactly the most popular flick in the show. Can... And there's plenty of choice regardless. <laughs> okay. The bee. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Angie. Same here, Miss Back to the Meredith. present. That's funny. <laughs> Alrighty. Gremlins. <laughs> Half price. The brunch bunch. <laughs> Is it the Breakfast Club? Oh my god. Oh my god. Enter. <laughs> oh my god. Why do I suck? <laughs> All right. We're going down and in here. Is that this one? It looks like it's this one. It's who it looks like it's highlighted. Is this Is this the one? Yes. Here's your mail. And then there's one just up here. I feel like I don't need to drive the car over here because it's, it's literally that. Oh, I do need the package, though. Can't just knock on their door, say, package delivery, and not have the package. Some might consider that false advertisement of some third street pine street where are we i don't know f close uh, damn. where are we that's 402 pine street so i was right okay i didn't indicate to what i was guessing except for in my mind but i, I was right Alrighty. Look at this. These houses are so pretty. I would love to look, look at that. It's so cute and homey and stuff. Commander Grace, we have established communication with oh ground gosh. control. How do you wish to proceed? Tell them we've landed the rocket. Ground control, we have landed the rocket. We will now begin our experiments. Um, package for the Evans family? Just a minute. Commander Grace, permission to explore? Permission granted. Yep, we're the Evans family. Could I just take that real quick? I'm kind of in the middle of a lunar landing. Sure. Here you go. <laughs> nice helmet, by the way. Why, thank you. I actually modeled it on the Apollo 11 crew oh. outfit. Wait. What? Meredith? Buzz Aldrin? Uh, guilty as charged. Guilty as charged. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Who are you? What? For real? You don't recognize your old best friend when you well, see Well, right now we just Wait see your minute. eyes, so... Okay. <sighs> Great. And now I busted my colander. I knew opening the door in this thing was a bad idea. It's not my problem. <laughs> wow, I didn't expect to see you here. Sorry I didn't recognize you. Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't recognize you with the colander thing. The helmet. Yeah. Clearly. 
But it seems I'm not the only one who came in disguise. Got me there. You've lived in Providence Oaks all this time? Don't sound so surprised. But yes, I married Barry. Evans? I'm sure you remember our high school star quarterback. Gotta rub it in. She's a like, high school Be right star there, Commander Grace. quarterback. Scanning remember? for alien life forms. Hotstein school. That's my little uh, scientist nap, nap. back there. She's crazy about space travel, as you may have guessed. Even after the whole Challenger thing. Sounds like you're doing great. I'm happy for you. Well, obviously a lot can happen in 22 years. She sounds a little butthurt that we left. Just, just, the vibes are a little off here. She seems a little butthurt. I'm sorry, okay? Time flies. So, I heard you were back in town for a while. From Maureen. That's right. I ran into her yesterday that Maureen, she be gabbing. Kitchen caught fire. Must have just missed your Uncle Stan there. The kitchen caught fire, so your Uncle Stan is gonna have a field day. Nope. It's Moe's diner now. Like I said, a lot of things happened while you were oh, away. Oh gosh. Also, I work there now. At the diner. Taking over the family business, eh? Let's compare notes. Yeah. See, she's we'll see. the Ready vibes are off. off. She's Listen, butt hurt. I'm sorry, but I don't really have time for this right now. Can't get stuck on the moon on my own, and I have to get ready for work. See you around. Bye, but her I'm okay. Evans. <laughs> Say hello to your husband, Chris Hold Evans, up. for me. You'll never guess what I just found. You can say that again. <laughs> Alrighty. Some people aren't too happy to see us around. But we're happy to see us around and that's all that matters. <laughs> We've got a few more packages and stuff to deliver and then we'll be done for the day. Let's see. Where are we going next? So we can go to Lake Road. That's got the most. Yeah, let's go to Lake Road. Where's Lake Road? Okay, so if I go down, make a right, and then a left, and then another right, then I should be there, I think. It's if I can tell the difference between left and right. <laughs> We will see. This is technically illegal, <laughs> but I don't care. Nope. Already farted it up. Yeah. All right. We're going down this way. You're getting a little too close to the uh, roadways there, ma'am. I'm on the road, so you should probably be careful. Maybe. Just a little bit. Ooh. Second Street, Johnson Street. I think we have to take this snow. Oh. Yes. No. Yes. Okay, so I think we're going this way. Look at that mountain. Oh my god. You know, for as big as this place is, the fact that we only have to deliver maybe like six items a day is kind of weird. Does everybody have... <laughs> Perfect. I'll stay here. <laughs> All right. What happened here? So I think it's this one. Hey, 
Mom and Dad have new neighbors. See, oh, that's our house. I don't think oh, they ever met okay. You Sweet. So we're home. We can just we can just go home. It's fine. Beautiful. Masterfully done. Let's just walk. Enjoy Enjoy the leisurely stroll. This beautiful scenery. Maybe we'll get mauled by a bear or two. Who knows? So much to experience in so little time. There's somebody there. My nose is like running like a faucet right now. I apologize. I think I've got something of a cold or something going on because uh, I've been sniffling the entire time. Hi! Are you who are you? Oh, you're waiting here for me now. Hi, hi. Meryl, dear! So glad you could come by. Oh, it's quite the what? emergency. emergency. What's wrong, Miss Jenkins? It's poor little Mortimer. Kevin. He's fallen ill, I think. One minute he was full of life. The next he, well, he just wasn't. It's the most catatonic. That's that's so insensitive. I mean, I'm not a vet. He looks fine to me. He's almost catatonic. I don't want her to take it as like a joke, but also I don't want to be literal, belittle her concern. Uh, but let's just go with this one. I mean, I'm not a vet, but he looks fine to me. Well, fact is, you're not a vet. Are you? Do you know who knows about animals, though? Is take him to Mr. Mackey. He runs the uh, old bait shop by the uh, Could you take more to me? Uh, I'm a mail carrier, ma'am. Sorry, I don't think... Sure, I'll get right... Uh, all right. All right. Fine. We'll do it. We'll do it for Mortimer. Sure. I'll get right on it. Here, little kitty. Come on. You, you don't have to... Wonderful! Be nice to Meredith Mortimer. Don't shed too much hair in her van now. Bye, Miss Jenkins. Bye, Meredith. See you soon, Mortimer. Why couldn't you? You have a car. Why didn't you go? Ma'am? Um, I should deliver. Is that on the other side? I think so. Is she gonna let me deliver? Just carrying somebody's cat on my way to deliver. Ma'am, you better let me deliver. You have two hands, it's fine. Besides, you've got a duty. Nothing can prevent the mail from being delivered, not even Mortimer. As important as Mortimer is. The moment of truth. No. Nope. Oh, wait. Is this even the. Oh, it probably is. She's just got her one handful, so. There's nothing we can do. There's literally nothing. It's not like we can just put the cat down for like five seconds to deliver the mail. You know, our job that we're being paid to do. It's fine. I'm not butthurt or anything about it. It's okay. We're good. So I guess he's in that exclamation point. Is he nearby? Or is that just a marker to show the direction we have to go in? It's looking like a marker. It's moving. My gosh. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Look at that park job. Did so good. Maybe we should just leave the cat in the trunk of the, the uh, bed of this truck right here. Maybe. 
and then write a note saying, hey, can you get that to Mr. What's-His-Faces? I don't know who he is. I'm new here. Well, not new. I lived here like 22,000 years ago, and I forgot everybody who lives here. Somewhat, sort of, maybe, I don't know, a little. And this little old lady with a bunch of cats wants me to bring one of her cats to see the bait man, not a veterinarian, but a bait man. Don't know what that's saying exactly. She, I, I would expect a vet, but and not a bait man. But I mean, I, I'm sure it's fine. She won't get a call at like two in the morning. Like, Sorry, I accidentally turned your cat into fish bait. It's, I'll get you a new one. <laughs> Whoops. So it looks like, ooh, does he live at the end of that gorgeous, gorgeous looking house? He does. He does. It would make sense. He's on the water. He's a bait man. So I wonder if he knows Patrick, who is also technically a bait man. <laughs> Sir Patrick. Patrick. Patrick Bateman, hello. Mackie's out, gotcha. Bait tackle and boat rental. It makes sense to bring a cat here. Makes sense. How could I not have thought of this? I mean, when your cat is seizing on the floor, where would you take them? A vet? Nay, nay. We go to the Bateman. Mr. Mackie? I know you're close, but... What? I'm Meredith Weiss. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Meredith Weiss. Thomas, kid. I remember you running around the lake when you were yay high, getting into all sorts of trouble. What can I do you for? Mildred Jenkins tells me you know a lot about animals, and, well... Oh, hi there, little fellow. What's your name? Apparently it's Mortimer. Well, pleased to meet you, Mort. Hmm, he's a little sluggish. Has Millie been feeding him cupcakes oh again? To be honest, I have no idea. <sighs> Leave him with me, I'll put him on a diet today. Maybe even catch him a fish if they're biting. With any luck, he should be up and running in the morning. I don't have to pick him up, do I? Because this is like a one-time thing. I'm a mail carrier. So unless you put him in an envelope, there's nothing I can do. Sounds good. <laughs> Thank you, sir. By the way, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. You go back to running around that lake. Nobody wants to talk to me. Okay. Bye, Mr. Mackey. This is kind of Bye, rude. Mortimer. I feel a little sad. And nobody wants anything to do with me. It's unfortunate. But look at that water. Look at that scenery. Look, Meredith. Look at how gorgeous this is. How could you leave this? 22 years, Meredith. No wonder everybody's butt hurt. This gorgeous music. Now can I get back to my regularly scheduled deliveries? Okay, past here. Go up a little further. It's just beyond that bridge. I'm in the wrong lane. Oh god. Am I so bad? All right. So back. 
actually. We can actually just go up this way. Talk about a wide turn. Okay. And this is a letter. Hello? Hello? Does it actually mean this one? Like, really? It looks like it was that one. What the heck? Ooh. It was pretty. I really like the color of the house. Does that person not need mail, too? Does he not get bills? Is he living off the grid? On the grid? Off the grid? Is he living in that stump over there? Popping in. We're gonna continue. Now we go back around. I think we only have one thing left to deliver, and then we're good for the day. Look, it's the optional stop sign that nobody ever uses anymore. Stop! So we are literally going all the way back over across the lake. Everybody, everything is just so far away from each other. It'd be so easy just to take a shortcut through the water, but we might not survive. I don't think this uh, mail truck is water resistant or buoyant. I don't even know if Meredith is buoyant or water resistant. Do you swim much, Meredith? Or is that too much to hope for? It's okay, you can take your time. I'm just gonna keep on trucking. Right on across over here. We're going literally all the way. Whoop. <laughs> Flawless. Perfection. We've done it. This scenery really is. Look at that. The fields. It's so pretty. Oh my god. <laughs> pretty. So we're just going to keep going. Dude, we have to go so far. <laughs> we're all the way across. We're heading in towards the mountains now, it looks like. Are we in a different state? Feels like we're going to a different state. I used to think our Spanner Dam was just as big and famous as Hoover Dam. Then I visited Hoover Dam. Yeah, Hoover Dam pretty big. Spammer's nice, but it ain't no Hoover. Uh, I'm just gonna hope that there's a place to get in over here. Yes. It's fine. They won't mind me parking like this for now. We'll deliver our final piece. It's a very interesting box. What on earth did these folks order? Didn't you say that already? Like, find some new material, ma'am. What are you playing? What are you playing? It's Elite Gamer. Hello, sir. Parcel for you. Um, I hope I'm not disturbing, but here's a parcel for you. One minute, I'm um, busy. Excuse me. Okay, sir. 
that a parcel for me? Uh. No, it's Bigfoot. Yes, sir. Oregon Trail Motel. You can just put it on the counter. Excuse me. All right. Have a nice day. Must be great. It's a video game. On the job. Okay. Now we head back home. It's the longest road. Driving all the way back. All right. I think we did. I think we did. Oop, we did amazing. <laughs> Wise residence. Wednesday evening. Oh. There it is. Hi. Steve. Oh, hi, Steve. Oh, my How God. are you? Busy as two peas. Added 87 is really getting there. Hey, listen, you got plenty of time, right? Uh, yeah, there's not much to do around here, I guess, but that's nice for a change. I guess, but that's nice for a change. Awesome, of course. Favor. I sent a bunch of files your way. It's the retail pitch for added Boy, we're on vacation. Good, but not Technically, but also working. Do you think you can add it? <sighs> Not sure. How many pages are we talking about here, Steve? Uh, I'm not sure. How many pages are we talking about here? It's not much. It's just a pitch, and there's also an instruction booklet. Can't be are you kidding me? Pages. I could just send it to your post office, right? I guess. I guess. Awesome. Mail back to me as soon as possible. Priority mail. Thanks so much. Oh, I gotta run. Okay, Steve. Oh, one final thing. Now let this marinate. <clears throat> Add it, 87, add anything you like. It's fancy, right? Yeah, don't, don't tell me now. Uh, I got a jet, bye. It sucks. <laughs> Stinky Steve, of course. Uh, stay at home and watch Postman Always Rings twice. All right, well, let's watch this. 